welcome to app coders today we will learn about the combined framework so we will learn what are the basic components of the combined framework how they are interlinked to each other and how we can use them and at the end we will see some demo examples in our playground application so let's start so firstly what actually combine is combine was introduced by Apple in WWDC 2019. So right now it is not too much popular because it is running on the iOS 13 plus applications. So if you are preparing some new application which support iOS 13 plus, so you should go with the combined framework. A declarative Swift API for processing values over time. So what does declarative means here? In declarative programming, we are focusing on the outcome rather than how we reach to that outcome. Just an example, if you have booked some taxi, you are just going to tell the destination to the driver. You are not going to tell how to reach to that destination. Means you are not going to tell to the driver, just take a left turn or the right turn. So driver will take you itself to the destination. In a similar way, a declarative Swift API for processing values over time. How we are processing values in the combine, you will get to know in some time when we move further in the video. So it allows you to write the functional directive code called FRP. So is the FRP stands for the functional directive programming. So this is a special kind of functional programming where you are working with the asynchronous stream of values. You can modify those values or you can process those values by applying some operators like map, flat map, there are other operators as well. So like if you are familiar with some of the third parties like Rx Swift, Reactive Swift, so these are the third party frameworks. Now you do not have any dependency on the third parties like this is inbuilt provided by Apple. Next, what are the components of the combine? So combine work on the three main components publishers operators and subscribers publisher publisher is a protocol the object that conform to the protocol delivers the sequence of values over time it has two associated types output and failure so it can emit the events or it can emit the completion or the failure in case of errors next operators Operators are the special methods that take values from publisher, either produce the same publisher or the different publisher. Operators act on the values. Like operators can either modify the value, add value or either can remove the value or can do other operations as well. Next, subscribers. Publishers and operators are pointless unless someone is listening to their published values. Like publisher, subscriber is also a protocol. It has two associated types, input and a failure. Input and failure, these types must match with the output and the failure of the publisher associated types. Subscribers either can receive event, completion or the failures from the publishers. So, publisher and subscriber work in this model like this radio tower is publishing the events and all the radios are listening to that events this central tower is the publisher which publishes the event and all these radios are subscribers they are receiving or subscribe to the event which is published by the tower Next, we have publisher and a subscriber protocols. As we can see, the subscriber protocol has associated type input and associated type failure. And it has three methods for receiving the input and for receiving the completion even. And this uh, publisher protocol has associated type output and associated type failure. And we have one method which is accepting the subscriber and the input of the subscriber should match the output of the publisher and the failure of the subscriber should match the failure of the publisher. 
like how the flow working between the publisher and the subscriber or how they are communicating with each other is demonstrated in this diagram below publisher start producing values when we call subscribe method on it and passing the subscriber to the publisher on receiving the subscriber publisher invokes the receive method and pass the subscription to the subscriber on receiving the subscription subscriber then demand or request values from the publisher publisher then free to produce or send the values to the subscribers publisher then send either finite or the infinite number of values if those values are finite then on completion publisher send the completion event to the subscriber or either it can produce the fail event or the failure event in case of some errors now we are going to see some demos for the publisher and subscribers in the playground now let's move to the playground so here we have created the dummy playground application and so let's remove this hello world and import combine now we are going to create a publisher for the Fibonacci series so we are creating an array of the Fibonacci series and creating a publisher through it which emits value and then we will create one subscriber that will receive those events or that will receive those emitted values so now let's create one variable Fibonacci publisher here we have one two three five so here we have created an array of uh, Fibonacci series and now this is the publisher we have created one publisher for the Fibonacci series now let's create one subscriber on this publisher so we are creating subscriber with this sync method there is one more method assigned to create subscribers but here we are using sync will tell you the difference between assign and sync in some later videos now let's focus on this like this is a closure so we can accept it like this and completion in and here we get values in so in the receive values we will receive the values which are emitted from the publisher and in this receive completion either we will receive the completion or the failure in case of any errors so let's print those values let's run this and check if we get those values so we received all the values like 0 1 1 2 3 and 5 now let's implement this completion block as well switch completion is either finished and another case is failure let never print this never value do some string Yeah, and here print the completion like just an example let's complete it so 
uh, when publisher completed the events so then it will send or invoke the finished event so now let's run so here we have the completed event as well so once all the values emitted by the publisher the publisher emits the completed event after this so there is no error in this case so the publisher doesn't emit this failure event at all now the type of this fibonacci publisher is combined dot publisher dot sequence an array of int and never is the failure means this publisher is never going to emit the failure event and the type of this subscriber is any cancellable means we can cancel this subscription at any time by cancelling it freed up all the allocated resources for the subscribers and the subscription is also invoke cancel event on completion or in case of the failure so in completion in case of the completion or in case of the failure it will uh, deallocate all the allocated resources by itself so now let's see one more example we are going to implement the timer with the help of the publisher and the subscription or with the help of the combine so create one variable timer publisher timer dot publish so we are going to create a timer on every uh, two millisecond call it is going to run on run loop dot main and mode is default now create one subscriber and let's create one variable for the subscriber as well cancelable timer and here print the values so now let's run here we have created this publisher and here we have created this subscriber so to start the timer we need to call this auto connect as well now let's run so here we can see the timer is started and it is printing the value after every 2 milliseconds so that's it now for today guys hope you like the video if you like this video please do like and subscribe to the channel new video comes out every weekend and in the next video we are going to create a complete demo application by using combine with a swift ui so stay tuned thanks for watching